What's happening everyone? Welcome back to another video. So uh, I'm currently in work driving in a van so I'm just going to do the intro quickly because we're going to be getting the spaces fitted to the car soon. I'm going to pop it down to the garage as I live really close to my work and the garage is literally around the corner from my work so it works out nicely. Uh, we've got the 15 mil spaces to fit today. They're a different brand to your typical K-Tech or like Motec spacers. I've gone for, I think they're called Hub Buddies. So they're hub-centric spacers. Very similar to where I fit into the Clio 172 Cup if you didn't see that video. But um, yeah, they come with the extended bolts as well. And they're 80 quid for the four, which you might think, well, that's a little bit cheap. It's too good to be true, they're crap quality. Uh, but after feeling them, inspecting them, they feel, you know, really good quality. And also, they're off Demon Tweaks, which, you know, I've never had trouble with Demon Tweaks. Also, uh, you know, I'm really hoping they fit. I did put my car reg into Demon Tweaks and it come up with a green flag to say that they fit my car. So, fingers crossed, we should be good. I'm, yeah, hoping, you know, they give the look I want to the car. I do want the wheels to be quite a bit wider. And then the real question after this is just going to be whether I need to go and get springs to lower it a little bit. At the moment, I feel like I like the height of the car, um, standard. But obviously when you put spaces on, it obviously changes things up a little bit. It might just look a little bit odd without lowering it, but hopefully it doesn't. So um, yeah, let me know before we get into it if you fitted spaces to your car. Um, you know, your M140, your M135, your M M2, whatever you've got. Um, and yeah, let me know if you lowered it after fitting the spaces as well. But um, yeah, if you are new around here, please smash the subscribe button and like if you do enjoy. And I think without further ado, let's just get straight into it. Right there, everyone, so the car's been finished, the spaces are on, it's right in front of me, so I'm going to take you around it now. I'm just hiding in the van for five minutes because it's absolutely hammering down once again. But yeah, I'm happy with it and um, we'll just see whether we think it needs springs or not. Let me know in the comments down below straight away if you think it needs springs. Oh, here she is. So, initial thoughts, I'm absolutely chuffed with it. That is perfect for me absolutely bang on and back wheel looking uh so trying to get a side angle there really aggressive there uh, back boom so yeah that's bang on for me the thing is i feel like the front wheel for me in terms of an arch gap is that's kind of bang on for me um, i'd say the back looks a lot bigger of an arch gap but i don't know if springs are needed um, it's an awkward one I feel like the back a little bit lower would look lovely um, let's have a look at this side uh, it's hard I don't know at the moment I think I like it <laughs> but I don't think springs would hurt that's really nice that's perfect to be honest yeah the last wheel there then Boom. So yeah, that is some nice stance. Absolutely over the moon with that. Yeah, that's bang on. So yeah, 15 mil all round. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, does it need springs now? I've, I don't know. I'm going to have to think about it overnight. Obviously, that looks a little bit big. But, I don't know. I kind of like it at the same time. So yeah. So yeah, you can see the actual spacer there. I actually forgot to um, record the spacers. But yeah, you can see them look pretty good quality. They felt there as well. But yeah, I'm pretty very happy. But you can actually see the measurements there as well. <laughs> yeah, so. Can't fault that at all. After driving the car, I can say it does feel a lot more planted. Let me know if you agree with that down in the comments. If you've fitted spacers, uh, does your car feel as planted? 
or does it well does it feel better or worse uh, than what it was previously i'm definitely happier with the way this car handles uh, it's a lot uh, like the Clio when I put spaces on that, it just handled so much better. I think going forward, I want to put springs on it. I've decided after, you know, having a little bit of time with the car, looking at that arch gap on the back, I think I want to go for springs. And I'm thinking of going for H&R 25 mil. So let me know what you think of that down in the comments as well. I know a lot of people on the Facebook forums um, can't recommend them enough. My car has adaptive dampers as well, so that was one of my questions on the forums. Can I fit any springs to the adaptive dampers? Does it make any difference? From what I can understand, it doesn't make much of a difference. So, and, and a lot of people have gone for H&R while having the adaptive dampers, so that should be all, all in the clear. And the, the people who have fitted them have said that the ride quality really doesn't change too much, so yeah, if you've fitted those springs, let me know if the ride quality has changed drastically for you. Not that I'm that bothered, I kind of just would rather it handle better, because I'm not flying over speed bumps anyway, so re yeah, realistically, it doesn't bother me. But yeah, I'd love to know what you think of the stance of the car now, guys, in the comments. Um, whether you like it, whether you don't like it. And um, yeah, hopefully these spacers, like, hopefully they, they're fine, because obviously they're a bit of a budget spacer. And yeah, a lot of people might not have gone for these spaces just because they, they were the cheapest ones. But if they're on Demon Tweaks, I'm more than happy to give them a go. So yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this video, guys. Please smash the subscribe button if you are new. And also leave a like if you did enjoy. And I'll see you in the next one.